in Newfoundland and Labrador today and we'll also take a look at a fire that happened in Corner Brook this morning and also a large drug bust in St. John's. There are no new cases of COVID-19 in Newfoundland and Labrador today. There are currently two active cases located in the Central Health region. So far, 2,984 people have been tested. In other news, the RNC held a press conference this morning to discuss, to discuss Operation Rhino. Police began an investigation in September of last year. They conducted raids in St. John's and found $6 million worth of illegal drugs that included cannabis, LSD, MDMA, cocaine, hash, and mushrooms. A pill press, two vehicles, six guns, and $181,930 in cash was also seized. Three people were arrested and released. The investigation, is, the investigation has not yet concluded. And finally, Broadway in Corner Brook was closed from the paint shop to Herald Avenue this morning after a fire. RNC and the Cornerbrook Fire Department responded to the call early this morning. It appears as though the fire was at the 86 pub. The extent of the damage is unknown. Your weather forecast is coming up next. We were getting married in the most beautiful rural setting. My mom got sick and couldn't be with us for our big day. I was heartbroken. Thankfully, we discovered ExploreNet. They responded right away and connected us to high-speed internet. Our big day was incredible because it felt like mom was there. ExploreNet. Connect to what matters. Your weather forecast over the next little while is going to be quite unsettled, beginning with your Friday. Overnight tonight, though, it's going to be a fairly nice evening for most areas. We're looking at uh, cloudy periods in 15 in St. John's. Central Newfoundland tonight, some cloudy periods and a low of 15 as well. And in Cornerbrook tonight, a low of 12 with some cloudy periods. Now, tomorrow, a <clears throat> bit of a different story. We're looking at rain for most areas of Newfoundland. Uh, we're looking at um, rain for the Avalon, south coast and central, a chance of showers, uh, Corner Brook and north. Uh, not expecting any precipitation for uh, St. Anthony. Uh, some areas of Newfoundland, especially along the south coast, could receive uh, potentially 25 plus millimeters of rain, something uh, worth watching for sure. In Labrador tomorrow, it's going to be unsettled as well. There's a risk of a thunderstorm in Happy Valley Goose Bay. Uh, otherwise, a chance of showers, a mix of sun and cloud in Maine. And in Labrador City, we are looking at a chance of showers and 17. Your extended forecast at St. John's, it is going to be a fairly wet Friday. We're looking at uh, 15 to 20 millimeters of rain and a high of 16. Saturday, a mix of sun and cloud and 20. As we head into your Sunday, uh, the rain returns with a high of 18. A chance of showers expected for Monday and sun and cloud for your Tuesday. And then in Gander, 5 to 10 millimeters of rain expected for your Friday. Saturday, Sunday through to Monday, we are going to hold on to rain for central Newfoundland. Temperatures in the low 20s. Tuesday, a nice day, a mix of sun and cloud, and a high of 21. And then in Corner Brook for your Friday and Saturday, we are looking at a chance of showers. Bit cooler compared to what we have been seeing, but uh, still uh, pleasant nonetheless. And uh, for Sunday and Monday, we are looking at rain 20 for Sunday, 19 for Monday, and Tuesday, mostly sunny, and a high of 17. That's a look at your news and your forecast, and now you can check out newfoundnews.ca for more. <laughs>